Paul Schulte of the United States of America is a good example of a Class 3 player. Typical of the Class 3 player, Paul is able to push the wheelchair forcefully with no loss of stability. The head, shoulders and trunk move forward and back as a single unit throughout the pushing action. There is no loss of stability in the motion. Notice that he follows through with his trunk more than a Class 1 or 2 player. He is quick and powerful and maintains good balance when stopping and pivoting. Karina Versloot of the Netherlands is a Class 3 player. She is able to dribble the ball in front of her casters with one hand while accelerating quickly and pushing forcefully with the other hand. She can take off and start the dribble, reaching maximum speed without loss of trunk stability. She can switch hands across the front of the chair without having to check her balance. The Class 3 player can make two and one-handed passes without relying on their wheelchair for support. Two-handed passing forward is performed with no loss of stability. Trunk rotation is used to gain leverage and power while performing a one-hand pass. Class 3 players are able to lean far forward to catch the ball. They can resume upright sitting easily after leaning on their knees. If the pass is wide to the side of the body, however, Class 3 athletes show great difficulty resuming upright sitting after completing the catch. Often, such catches will be accomplished with one hand while the opposite hand remains on the wheel for stability. The Class 3 player does not show loss of trunk stability when shooting. They can rotate in the direction of the shot unsupported by the backrest. They are able to lean far forward to carry an underhand shot during a layup. Class 3 players are comfortable rebounding overhead with both hands, however they have limited stability reaching sideways and will typically hold the wheelchair for balance with the offhand, as Sean Norris of Australia demonstrates here. Unlike Class 1 and 2 players, Class 3 players are not very affected by minimum chair contact when they have both hands away from the wheels. They may lose stability if contact from the front is forceful, they will lose stability if contact is from the side.
Class 3 athletes were able to tilt when supported by at least one hand on the wheel.